Hey, what's up, GCV? We out here in nature. You already know where I be. Surrounded by the trees, baby. Let me take in a... Take in a good breath and just... Doesn't that feel good, y'all? Sending all them good vibes from me to you. From your main man, Drew, to you. All right? And you already know what this is. This is Drew 2, God's chosen vessel, where we came to what? Give you more and never lesser. You already know. All my new viewers, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Because you ain't going to want to miss this content. And all my returning viewers, you already know, man. Stop playing with your boy, man. Hit that like button and hit that share button. You already know what to do. Y'all know some people out there who could use some content like this. Give it to them. I'm giving it to y'all. Put on the spirit of giving and share this video today, okay? I know you guys are out there tackling your goals. I know you guys are going after what you want in life, okay? And as you start to make little steps and little advancements, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel great. It's going to what you keep on like, yo, man, I, I'm working on myself. I'm working on this. I'm working on that. Who can I? I, I? I've been talking to the trees lately, but they don't answer back much sometimes. But what I, I want to go. I feel I need to go tell. I feel I need to go tell somebody about the good that I'm, I'm trying to create for my life. Heck no. Okay, that's exactly what you don't do. All right, you're better off just telling it to the trees. Okay, at least the trees won't tell nobody. All right, they won't put you, the trees won't put your business out in the streets, they'll keep it in nature where it's supposed to be. Okay, they might put it up, they might uh, send it up to outer space for you through the, through the portal of the sun and make your dream come back as one. All right, but look, anyway, keep your progress personal. Okay, on your path to success you don't need haters putting down your advancements in life that's what you don't need folks when you're working on stuff and you got dreams and goals and stuff don't tell nobody don't tell these people keep your progress as personal as your personal business your your uh, dr dreams and goals and your progress treat it like your social security number you wouldn't tell nobody that so don't tell nobody about your progress and your advancements, okay? You know the people, you know who you can tell your social security number to? Somebody that's about to give you some money. Somebody that's got their stuff together. A righteous, uh, a, a, a righteous individual, hopefully. But I mean, if it's a job, you know what I'm saying. Somebody that you can get, don't tell your dreams just to anybody, okay? You wouldn't give your social security number to just anybody. Oh, I got a job for you. Okay, here's my social. No, you wouldn't do that, okay? Treat your dreams as private and keep your uh, progress and your advancement as private as your social security number, okay? And I know, I hope y'all ain't telling nobody that. You better not, okay? Unless they about to give you some money in a legal way. Being successful is already a full-time job, okay? Being successful is already a full-time job. You don't need anyone hating on you while you are on your journey to becoming great. I'm going to make it hard for you, okay? The average person doesn't do much, okay, other than what they see everyone else do. If you want more out of life, all right, if you want more out of life, you're not average, okay? If you feel you deserve a private jet and a house and properties, if you think big like that and actually see and feel yourself with all the things, you all you are already successful. I'm here to tell you, if you see and feel yourself with all those things, you're already there. You're already successful, y'all. I'm here, God put it on my spirit to tell, for me to tell you, to let you know, if you see it and feel it and you work towards it and you know it's on the way and you're feeling good about receiving it, it's already yours. You are already successful. Not many people can see what they want for themselves. All right, that's a gift. It may be easier for them to see others with it. All right, but if you want it for you, you're going to have to see it for yourself. Literally, okay? You are literally, literally going to have to see it for yourself. All right, and
And trust me, you are not, I repeat, do not tell others, okay? Do not tell others what you see for yourself, all right? People will try and undermine your efforts. You can't do that. You can't be that. You can't have that. Okay? Remember that Rick Ross video? That's my car. You ain't gonna never have that car, Ricky. He should have kept that to himself. Imagine if he believed her. We wouldn't have no Rick Ross, would we? No. All right? All that work they see you putting in, okay? All that work they see you putting in is because they're not putting in any work. They want to minimalize your work you've been putting in, okay? Like it doesn't mean anything, all right? All because they don't see it for themselves. They don't want you to see it for you, okay? Makes sense? People could potentially be praying for your downfall, all right? There are some people who may even make it their life's mission, to try and stop you from pursuing your goals and living your darn dream, all right? And I know you don't need that, okay? Life already comes with enough to handle on its own without purposely allowing yourself to be set up by others to set you up, okay? You don't need people trying to stop you from getting where you want to be in life. You don't need that, all right? So as far as your goals and dreams say less all right the less people know about you the better okay some people are bothered by the ambition and motivation that lives in others all right if they're not motivated and they have no drive why would you share your good with them just just being real people not a good idea y'all all right that's why your progress must be kept personal, all right? To protect you, to protect your future plans and your goals. You feel good about your accomplishments, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But you never know what a hater or a jealous spirit is capable of. You never know what these, you don't know what these people are capable of. You don't know what these haters are capable of. You don't know how, you just don't know how jealous that spirit they have on them is. All right? The you, the, the young sister who owned the hair company. All right? She took her friends on vacation. And they put her goals and dreams down permanently. Because they hated on her. They hated to see her be good. They hated to see her dream manifest. They hated that she could pay even like people will be so jealous of you that you could take them on vacation and they'll kill you. Literally. You've seen what happened to this young lady. She she made herself successful and prosperous. And then she thought she could still hang around them same friends. You know, them same this is why you have to include God in what you do. When you're not around, when you're not supposed to be around the, the, those people, when you pray to God. He will let you know you're not supposed to be around those people. He will send you red flags, signals. Your intuition will go. Your antennas will go up. Your spidey senses will tingle, okay? God bless her soul. They put her, they put her dreams down permanently, all because they were jealous. They had the spirit of envy. They had the spirit of jealousy, okay? And they killed that girl, all because she had a vision and they did not. She had goals for herself, and they did not. Them know nothing behind friends of hers. She could have helped them, their whole family. If I was those people's family, I'd be upset. I could have worked for that person. I could have did. I could have did business with them. I could have. I could have used that as a connection to help myself get rich. And you did what to that that young genius, that young female entrepreneur genius? Like, bro, people are losing their minds out here over other people's success is because of social media and because you can't you, you you can see people are able to see what other people are able to do everybody's posting their success everybody's posting their best life and if people see you have a whiff of that oh boy it's gonna bring every it's gonna bring the utmost angriest deceitful uh demonic spirit out of these people i'm telling you all right these people don't want to see other people do good all right 
took that young lady's life. Some of these people have no way or idea, all right, of how to become successful themselves. You can't go trusting everyone with your success story. Okay, chosen ones? Some of these people, they don't have no idea how to become successful. It's like a slave plantation, man. And you got a free ride off. You got a free ride off the plantation. You got a free ride out of the plantation. Okay. You got to, you, you, you're free. You get to leave. Okay. The other slaves may feel some type of way about that. Okay. That's just my analogy. They just, just my breakdown of it. They may feel some type of way about that. Okay. Are you leaving? You ain't got to work for Massa no more. You leaving us? You leaving us? You can get up and leave too. But that's not my choice. You leaving us. Bro, I just told you you can get up and go if you wanted to. You leaving us? All right. They may feel some type of way that you figured out a way to get off the plantation. All right. They may feel some type of way about you leaving. So look, they may look at you and your progress in life the same way. Okay, so look at your progress in life the same way. Don't tell what the way and brothers say and pops. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. I'm only being honest with you guys because I know you have a good heart and you got to protect that heart. I know you have goals and dreams, but protect that good heart. Protect those goals and dreams. Okay. Protect those aspirations by keeping them to your mother-loving self, all right? If they can't put you in a better position, if they don't have any um, connections, if they're not in a better position than you in the line of work in which you want to achieve success in, what are you doing telling those people about what you want to do? For real, what, what, what's the point of telling them? I know you're excited. I know you're working on yourself. What's the point of telling them if they can't put you anywhere? If they can't make a, a change in your life today, what are you doing telling them wasting your energy? You could have used that energy and saved that energy and transferred that energy into some to some goal achieving. And you could have took that and went and go worked on yourself. All right, now that energy is gone and you got to build that back up. That's what that energy is used for. You're supposed to take that good feeling that you have, keep it to yourself, because if other people aren't working on themselves, they're not going to have no good feeling to transfer back to you. You're just going to be transferring some good into somebody, and they're just going to be like, not even they're not even going to know what to do with it, not even know how to feel about it. That's why they get all angry and jealous because it's like, who's this person trying to come tell me about some good stuff? I don't have nothing good going on in my life. All right? So keep your business to yourself. Keep your goals to yourself. And most importantly, keep your vision and your great ideas to yourself yourself all right don't run off at the mouth because you feel good about your accomplishments keep it to yourself i know that you're working on your goals i know that you're invested all right i know that you're ready to achieve your success i know that you're ready to have your vision for your life but not everyone will be accepting of that all right of all the wonderful positive energy okay you never know who is hating on you, so it's best to just keep quiet until you achieve it. It's not them. It's for you. It's not for them. It's for you. God gave it to you. It's your blessing, okay? If they want to be motivated, tell them to watch some Drew too, okay? If they want to be motivated, share my link. Don't share your progress, all right? Give them some Drew too. They'll be motivated. All right. You motivate you. You uplift you. All right. God will direct them into the right uh, line of work for them, for their life and their calling. You keep all that progress between you and God and the people that God puts in your life to help that vision grow into reality. All right. That's who you share it with. OK, chosen vessels. So always keep your progress personal on your path to success. Do not need haters putting down your advancements in life, okay? So thank you everyone for watching. As always, I hope this has been a knowledgeable, informative video to help you, all right? To advise you 
and help you learn about some things to avoid having to encounter on your path to success. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, be blessed. Be positive. All right, let you be healthy, wealthy, and successful and prosperous for all of your days. And thereafter, peace, love, and light. Chosen vessels, all right? Drew two out. God's chosen vessels, where we came to give you more and never lesser. All right? Be blessed, y'all.